Yes, it's that time when I swap the field to do a bit of beach detecting, hopefully. So we are down uh, on our little holiday break. Holiday's nearly over. Probably be back home when you see this. Um, we are down at Saundersfoot Beach. Now, the last time I came down here, I was with the Simplex. Very, very chattery on this beach. Um, I do believe that every so often, you come across some iron pipes that come down from the buildings. Um, but I'm having to wait for the tide to go out a little bit because of the awkward tide times. Um, but hopefully we'll get some stuff on it. I've got to find a minimum of £5.50 to cover my parking fees. So let's chit chat, let's do this top bit while we're waiting for the uh, beach to go out. And uh, I've got less than three hours left before the ticket runs out. Let's get off, let's scoop. Can you believe it, right? All I've ever wanted to find on a beach was a pre-decimal coin. We got one first decent old. That to me looks like a sixpence. And quite possibly George is sick. Whether you get that one cleaned up at home. All right, next coin, just before I had to dash for the uh, cover because of the rain, is a 20 pence piece. So um, I'm in the spendables. But uh, you can just see over there, it's really hazy. You can normally see a landmark over there. You can hardly see anything there because of the rain. Of all days, to start raining when I want to do beach detecting. And I'm having to wait for the tide to go out a bit anyway, but I've only got until about 12 o'clock. So let's hang out, see if the rain passes over. If not, it's a long way back to the car in the rain. Never done a live dig on a beach before. Let's see. Right, we're out. We were. Yeah, now somewhere. Got a phone number on it. Just says, yeah, yeah. Just says, hello, I'm lost. Um, it's got a number on there. I don't know what that is. It's not exactly a dog tag, is it? Nice little colour to it. Yeah. Next coin, 5p, so we got our first nugget, <sighs> have a few more like that if you would please. Another one. MP, another coin there ringing in about 18. Look at that 1p, that's a condition. I suppose that wasn't ringing up higher actually, they usually do ring around about the 21. Looks like we're on a, another coin, I think. Yeah. 
That's another pound. Nearly covering me parking. Bugger. So Saundersfoot wasn't exactly productive after shelling out uh, on parking. Uh, what I found <laughs> didn't even cover it. Uh, so we, it's a couple of days later and it's a beautiful sunny day. So we are down the beach now at Amroth. Last time I was here it was about ooh, 24 years ago on this beach. Uh, never detected it, so we don't know what it's going to be like. But if you just get an idea, right down the coast there is uh, Wiseman's Bridge. And then a bit further on is Saundersfoot. Uh, now Saundersfoot, beautiful place to go and visit. Brilliant beach if you want to go there with the kids. If you want to do detecting, oh, it's hard. It's hard going. A lot of interference from the, the buildings. There's a lot of iron pipes coming out from the buildings onto the beach. And um, very, very quiet as well. Maybe just been a bad day, I don't know. But we're going to see what Amroth uh, is like. And we've got some little rock pools and all that we can have a go at. So we're going to see how we get on. And hopefully we'll do better than Saundersfoot. Let's see. All right, I've just got one out of here. Uh, part of this little stream has run down, a 22. And every time I was digging it, it kept filling up. But uh, I think we got it in the scoop now. Yeah, we've definitely got something in there. Still ringing in a 22. Is it going to be our first coin? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, Jesus. I'll leave the field and I'm still finding lead. <laughs> well, we've got ourselves coin bollocks of it. Wow. That is well and truly uh, non-existent. It's a copper coin. So it could be a pre-decimal penny or it could be a 2p. I've got no more idea. That looks like a, I can make it a Britannia on the front there, I think. What I'll do is if I find out, you'll see what it is. Well, I've got it out and I'm putting it against a 2p. So it's obviously too big for a 2p. I would say that is a penny. And looking at it, I think I can just about make it what could be a Vicky. It could be a Vicky Burnett penny. And obviously being down in the sand, it doesn't get a chance to oxidise properly and it comes out a beautiful copper. Hopefully I'll get a better image of it when I get back home. Right out of here, we've got a high ringer. Just about make out the port colours there. So that's a modern penny. Yeah, that same old. We've got another pre-decimal. How do you... God, you wait years for pre-decimals on a beach. Three come along in the space of a couple of days. I reckon that might clean up lovely in the Tumbra. There's Britannia on the front, you can just about make out. And on the back, oh sorry, the front. I don't know who it is, I can't really see. It's a bloke, I tell you, that's probably Georgia 6th. Another pre decimal, I'll take that. All right, just found this. Looks like brass to me. It's got that on the back. Anybody knows what that is? Let us know, because I'm stumped on that one. All right, just found this. Ringing in a 16. Fits on my thumb now. Really worn down. I would probably say that that is a decimal half penny. Really tiny little thing. Right, we've moved up to the other end. The tide is on its way in now, but uh, first up around this sort of area. And I'm um, glad to come up here because I think we've got a coin there. 
I think it might be our old friend the two pence piece. There you go, there's another one for Aaron. Bugger. Right, so we are on our last day of our holiday. We are down on Saunderset Beach at the far end. So we are up here and digging a low tone. It was a five. I think I found gold. Look at that. Is it or is it a junker? That's got weight to it. Oh my days. We'll get this cleaned up and we'll be right back. Or right, cleaned it off. Thing is, I can't see any hallmarks in there. But that was ringing in a low four. And we all know gold is a low conductor. Now, my only thoughts is that there may not be any hallmarks on there if this ring was resized. So this could be potentially gold and not a bad finish to our holiday. Feels too weighty not to be gold. Get in there. Get in there. So there we are. There it is. That lovely gold ring. Absolutely stunning. But... It's magnetic. So unfortunately, it's not gold. Wah, wah, wow. Uh, first coin of this last day. And it's 20p. All right, this one was ringing in a 28. It's another coin. And it's our old friend, Mr. Toopy. Uh, another high ringer, a 28, another 2P. Well, we've got one here, quite shallow. Whatever it is, it's in the scoops. Let's go and see what we got. Oh, we got a lead weight. There we go. We'll go to the lead pot, then it. So here we have, this is uh, pretty much three days worth of trash off the beach, which is pretty damn good, if you ask me. Uh, it's just a testament to how clean the beaches actually are down in that area. Um, I do believe that every now and then they go through with a tractor and comb it to remove the trash. Um, these ones here were found on the last day. Up until this point, I didn't think I was going to find one bottle cap. That's how clean the beaches were, very, very quiet. And when you did get these decent tones, they were little bits like this. And then obviously you get the ring pulls. You've got to dig them because they ring in the same as some of these modern coins. Um, that's about the worst of it. Buried. Um, but there, that's it. And then this little band here, it's obviously got some fishing weights on it. That is about the worst of it for three days worth of beach detecting. So well done to Saundersfoot and Amaroff Beach for keeping your beaches relatively pristine. Now, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. It is my only beach uh, video for this year, unless I decide to travel two hours just to go and do a spot on the whim. Um, but um, no, that is it. I was hoping to get more videos done, but the beach was so quiet. It was hard getting any signals come through. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've been paying attention because one of the prizes in my upcoming 1,400 subscriber giveaway relates to this video. So I hope you've been paying attention. Um, I've got to go off and get this video sorted now. Um, as usual, thanks for watching and um, until next time, take care, stay safe and I'll see you again. All right. Bella. <laughs>